Guess who's back? Yes, back again. Not me, West Ham transfer news. As we all know that a massive summer rebuild is in big, big need at West Ham United. Players are starting to be linked with a move to the Hammers and transfer stuff is starting to come out once again in the press. I know it's the end of March, but what better time? You know, we've got nothing else to do. It's still the international break. We count down the days until we play Everton this weekend. What a boring international break it has been. But uh, yeah, I thought I took this opportunity as transfer news is starting to find its way uh, back onto my Twitter timeline as well. Um, again, uh, let's talk about talk about it but before we do drop a like on the video subscribe to West Ham on official if you want to check our channel sponsors SRM Carver and Son by clicking the link in the description down below plenty plenty to talk about today Johnson could he have a new five-year contract a squad clear out plenty of players that linked with uh, with a move away from West Ham and is Darwin Nunes yes the guy that we were linked with right at the end of the January transfer window is he the striker we need and much much more coming in this edition of the West Ham transfer news show here on West Ham unofficial without further ado let's get into him. We're going to start with the first man in the title of this video. It's Ben Johnson. Of course, Vladimir Sufal's been out for um, quite a while with a hernia problem, which has uh, given Ben Johnson an opportunity to have a good, good and long run um, in the starting lineup in that right back position. At times, he switched to the left hand side when we've been uh, in need and we've had injuries and things, but predominantly. But predominantly, in the time that Sufal has been away, uh, Ben Johnson has been filling in in that right back position and. He's been filling. He's not only been filling in. He's been. He's been doing an excellent job, in my opinion. And I think Sufal's going to find it very hard when he does come back from injury, whenever that is. We're we're hearing he's starting to train again. When he when he when he does come back to full fitness or back into contention to start again, I think he's going to find it very hard to get ahead of um, our young right back. Now the bit of news is West Ham are, are are apparently in talks with Ben Johnson over a new five year deal. Now we. We are to know that we tried to get him to get him to sign a new contract um, in January and in the summer. It's not officially confirmed, but many people have said that he signed a one one year contract extension because we couldn't agree a long a long term deal with uh, with Ben Johnson. Whatever the issue with that was, I don't know whether it was money, whether he doesn't want a long term contract at West Ham or whatever it was. We've re entered talks with Ben Johnson, according to ex WHU employee. Of course, we all know um, the most reliable West Ham source we have. Newcastle and Arsenal are, of course, showing interest. We've we learned that last window as well. Plenty of player, um, plenty of clubs are sniffing around our good academy prospects. So it's um, it'll be good in the summer if or at some point we can uh, tie him down for another five years would be massive because this little run. Um, of games in the um, in the in the team has done the world of good. He's gone from strength to strength, and I really think just a couple of amendments and a couple of things which will come um, as time goes on and as he gets older um, and as 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 he gets better, that will come and he's going to turn into a fantastic right back and hopefully he can see out his career at West Ham. Now, um, a player um, that we have been linked to coming into West Ham is Pablo Fornals' his best friend. We are hearing Gerard Delefeu. Yes, did he play for Everton? He played for a club in the Premier League that's evaded me. Um, I, I'm going to have to have a look at that now. Delefeu, um, because now I believe he is at Udinese, I think. Um who plays for Serie A club? Um, he's a he's a, a Watford. He played for that's it, Watford, um, not Evan. Um, yeah, so Gerard Delafoe, a name that we are all pretty much familiar with. He's played in the Premier League before, and we are linked with him. Pablo Fornals is his best friend, so I'm sure a word is being mentioned there from our Spanish winger. So he is, of course, another winger that can play in that false nine and up front as well. We are hearing that apparently West Ham are looking at, according to X. So would it? Would it be a player that I particularly like? He wouldn't be at the top of my list, but if David Moyes thinks he fits the system and he has, um, and and he, and he has a plan of how it can work at West Ham, what does that mean for a player like Nikola Vlasic? I don't know. Is he going to get ahead of Manuel Lanzini? No. Vlasic, that's another story, whatever's going on there. But then we've got Ben Rama as well, you know. I feel like a winger shouldn't be where we're looking at. We should be looking at a left back, you know, and we might well be. And just only this is the stuff that's coming out and X is being told and we're keeping all the rest of it under wraps. Fingers crossed. We always say that and it never happens. But fingers crossed this time it does. But it's just the wingers and we don't need another winger. Bowen, we've got Antonio could play out of the wing. Bowen, Antonio, Fornos, Ben Rama, Vlasic. Uh, Lanzini, we've just got so many players and it frustrates me, it frustrates me but moving on to a, uh, a, a squad clear out that we all knew that was going to happen we've got so many players out of contract in the summer, obviously Mark Noble will be going, Alex Crow is probably not going to uh, return to West Ham after his loan spell after playing about one game, Ariola 
We don't know what's going to happen there. Um, Fredericks and Yarmolenko, the two players I want to talk about specifically, they are both set to leave the club in the summer with their contracts expiring. And apparently West Ham have no intentions of renewing contracts for um, our third choice right back and Andre Yarmolenko, who seem to have rejuvenated in the last month or so. Will that have any difference to whether David Moyes wants to sign him on for another year, you know, give him a contract extension, keep him at West Ham, or whether he'll say, you know what, you've been good in the last month, you scored some very crucial goals for West Ham in your time, but it's now time for you to move on and for us to bring in new blood. Ryan Fredericks, he's a player I like, and Wally, I know you'll watch this, he's a he's a player I like, but injuries have just struck him so hard, and obviously with the, with the upbringing of Ben Johnson... He's just been put back the pecking order once more. And Harrison Ashby coming through, he's going to be put back the pecking order once again. And uh, yeah, I feel like, you know, he hasn't got many years left in his career, especially with the injury record he's got. I feel like it's the right time for West Ham and Ryan Frederick to part ways, in my opinion. And him to go and get some regular first team football in the championship, for example, um, just to see out his career. But, you know, he's been a, he's been a, he's been a decent player. For West Ham, that is for sure. But you know, it is what it is. And then uh, one thing, one thing I would like to say, and if you're watching this now, uh, Geo from Hammers Chat did a fantastic, I must say, interview with Fabrizio Romano last night, and he mentioned plenty of things. Talk about Declan Rice, but I'm not, I'm not going to talk about Declan Rice. I'm just going to mention um, what he said uh, about Darwin Nunes. Now we all remember Darwin Nunes as kind of a last gasp, like player that came out of the blue that nobody had heard of at the last almost eleventh hour of the January transfer window. So Fabrizio said that we were very, and and this about Rafinha as well, two players, or Phillips as well. Phillips, there was no official bid according to Romano. Phillips, um, apparently we're in, interested, but we just couldn't get it done. And Nunes, we were incredibly interested, not just in those last couple of days, but apparently uh, in the last week of that window, we were really trying to push to get Darwin Nunes to the London Stadium. But it didn't happen. Is it somewhere that we could revisit? Uh, Fabrizio said it's possible that we could revisit, um, but there's but there's many uh, clubs that are now after uh, Darwin Nunes. And it will be, and it'll be uh, a good club, he said, that will pick him up. Will it be us? I doubt it, but he seems like a flipping good player that nobody had heard of until about the 28th of January. But now, you know, we're all experts, aren't we? We are all experts. But from his uh, from his goal um, goal ratio and and, and stats, he, he he looks like a good player. So maybe it's something that David Moyes will look at again in the summer. But we all know it's going to be a big summer transfer window, and uh, this is the start of it as we start to um, in this international break. Journalists aboard, right then. Let's get back on the transfer news train, and that's exactly what I have done today, hoping um, that we can get stuff done early. But of course, now our um, our attention turns to the Premier League again as we face new, um, as we face Everton at the weekend and then back to the Europa League as we face Leon at home. I'm going to cruise next week, so I'm going to pre-record a preview for the Leon game, but there'll be no match day content for the Everton and Leon game next week. So we'll go and watch somebody else for a week. Yeah. You know what to do. Thanks, everybody, for watching this West Ham transfer news show. If you've enjoyed it, drop a like on the video, subscribe to West Ham on official. If you're new, check out our channel sponsors, SIM Carver and Son, by clicking the link in the description down below. That's it from me. Just to recap, then, could Ben Johnson get a new five year contract at West Ham? Let's hope so. A squad clear out. Rowe Fredericks, Andre Yarmolenko, uh, could they be out of the door? Darwin Nunes is he the striker we need? Possibly, and a potential move to West Ham for Gerard Delafeu. That's it from me. Come on, your minds. Thanks, everybody, for watching this video, and I'll catch you soon. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.